Yo, have a free mail base. It's on my Gumroad. Link in the description. Okay, maybe I should go into more detail. These intros, man, they keep getting progressively worse. If you're wondering how I created these models, it's honestly just a simple process called balling. So, um, grab a couple reference images, place them on the front and side, added a cube, and subdivided it. Then sculpted it into the right shape. Did the same for the butt. From there, I merged them together and added legs, feet, and arms. This is just a basic shape for now. I add joints around the arms and legs. This allows for smoother bone movement when the base is rigged. Now, since I've never actually made an ana ana anatomic, how do you say that word? Anatomically. Now, since I've never actually made an anatomically correct base before, I had to do some research on how I wanted to topologize this guy. And I swear to you, Keita Imatomi, you've saved my life. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. A Japanese man that published his model's topology online on a website I've never actually heard of before. Now, although I occasionally study a bit of Japanese, I fear I don't understand any of this. So, feel free to teach me Japanese if you know how to speak it. Just DM me on Instagram or something. Anyway, link in the description to Keita's diary. Firstly, I worked on the torso. Brother. You've got to be- why me? Firstly, I worked on building the torso, then moved on to the shoulders and the beginning of the neck. The back was pretty easy, and the ass was going great until I had one vertex too many. So instead of fixing it, I let future me deal with the problem. After the entire torso area was done, I fixed the armpits and added more detail onto the arms. Now hear me out. For the hand, I could either die inside and model one from scratch, or steal one from another one of my models. Yeah, I chose that one. I then attached the hand and once again ignored one of my topology problems. Guess what I did for the head? I stole it from the Sangwu model I made in the past, cause I don't think I could model one better than this, and if I did it would turn the 6 hours I spent on this to 10 hours. So, no. I then simplified the head by removing some topology and reshaping it. Once I attached the head, I felt like the proportions were a bit whack when I imported the armature in, so grabbed another reference sheet to fix his anatomy. I then parented the armature with automatic weights to see if everything was placed correctly for smooth movement. It wasn't, so I fixed that, and boom, homie is done. And the crazy thing is, is that homie is available for free on my Gumroad. Go check it out, I force you. There's other stuff on there too, of course. I'ma go play pool with a friend now. See ya!